Hey everybody. We got a couple boxes in here from uh got this from Mauser. And I shipped it to Lockmeister 789 Lockmeister Lane. Uh Lock in Steinenberg, Georgia. And uh got this package from uh Dave and Babylon Cantalone, a petite paquette. Yeah, see what's in these things. Don't run with scissors in your hand, whatever you do. Don't do it. It's not a toy. Yeah, I got some uh, some of these axials here. I got one, one electrolytic. And I got the other electrolytics from Mauser. I got some 2 watt resistors. I like those because they're, they're bigger. What's in the radio is like half watts. But the half watts today are pretty small. So I got 2 watts because they're bigger. And I got some uh, 1 watts here. And I got about like 4 feet of this sp spaghetti um, covering. But uh, I probably should have got like 8 feet of this stuff. Got the 4 feet though. Hope that's enough. And we got this uh, handy dandy chart here. Which is uh, good to have. And uh, they do a good job packing, because once you take it out of the, the mailer, you can't get it back in. So, uh, well, let's see what's in here. This is the Mauser box. I like Mauser, because they're pretty efficient. Uh, German efficiency, I guess. And they got lots and lots of parts list here. It's very nice. And I got basically, uh, got all the rest of the electrolytics here that were like good ones. I mean, really good radial ones that are rated at thousands of hours. And I got some more 1 watt. I got them like in a package of 10 there. I only needed like 5 of these, but I got 10. I'm going to have some extra. And I got resistors too. I got all the resistors that are used in the radio. And I'll tell you why. Because I don't know what's going to be bad. And I like keeping them like uh, within 10% in the radio. Some people say, well, if you measure, they're like uh, 20%. They'll keep them. I like doing them at 10% tolerance. That's just me. And uh, I end up replacing like uh, maybe 30% of the resistors. 20 or 30% of the resistors. And I'll show you what I got in here. Yeah, I got a couple of these. These are power resistors. And you can slide the slider back and forth on the uh, on the windings. And you could adjust for the power. This is a 25 watt. Adjust for watt the one. ohms, Doomkoff. The reason I got two Not of these the power, is the ohm. Kind of RCA radio I fixed. And the power resistor, um, it was it was like a power resistor about that long with taps on it. And it was all blown out. So I got a couple of these just in case, because I want to fix the radio. If I don't use it for this radio, I can use it for like another one, you know? And I, I didn't get any mica ones, and because uh, those are usually good. So I just got all the paper capacitor replacements. There were the, the modern axial capacitors, and I got electrolytics that are... Uh, some are axial and some are uh, radial. So um, anyway, that's what I got there. But I want to talk about something else real quick that's pretty important. Let me just uh, shove everything back in here. Let's see how it's working. Yeah, it's working pretty good. Now, what we got here is a vintage 2001 Sony XBR Trigatron high definition set and uh, it's really high definition and uh, it's 40 inch let me show you what this thing does it doesn't do anything right now okay it goes on here it goes it's thinking about warming up there it goes like you see, I got hooked to my Roku box, and it's kind of jumping around. Let me show you what happens here. 
See, if you look at it like this, and it's doing just a static kind of picture, looks pretty good. Now, it's in good focus. This camera isn't the best camera here, but the picture is in good focus on the set. Now, let's say we want to play this thing. Kill Bill, Volume 2. Does Bill die in this? I don't want to give it away. Oh, there it goes, see? It starts loading, then it starts jumping. And, uh... Dun, 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 dun. See, it's jumping. It's kind of like there's, there's some, like a rhyme and reason to this. There's, and I think what's going on is that AC Ripple is leaking into the video composite and it's heterodyning somehow with the video composite. And there you go. You get like this dun 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 60 cycles creeping into the video, I think. So, I gotta replace a bunch of electrolytics, probably, or starting with the big ones in the power supply. So I gotta work on this, because, like Homer Simpson said, no beer and no TV make Homer crazy. But I wanna show you something now. I went through the electrolytic parts on um, the parts list and the, for this set here. It's got part list and schematic. I went through the parts and this has a boatload of parts here for electrolytics. I typed it all out here. I actually made these things. I didn't type it. I just copied them. Cut and paste. But there's actually 76 electrolytic caps on that D board. There's something like about four or five boards in that set. But just on the D board that has the power supply and other things and high voltage, 76 electrolytics on there. So I think shotgunning it is kind of, you know, shotgunning all the capacitors, replacing all of them. I don't know. That's kind of getting a little crazy there. Anyway, I, just to mention this, I got on Sony's site and I asked them a question about the ESR, the capacitors, whether I should go with like um, the lowest level of ESR, and um, told them I wanted to do, and I asked if I could, you know, get an engineer or a technician to help me, but they didn't do that. They just had like the front person reading the 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 uh, question I had, you know, like from the internet reading person, and they sent me basically a form letter that I should take it to. The authorized service center from Sony. So they gave me two names. Norman's Electronics. And uh, when I did a search. From like 75 miles from my house. And I got Radigan Enterprises. So let me show you reviews of these two places. Just to show you like what's out here nowadays. New Norman's Electronics Inc. Ooh. It's got a whopping one and a half stars. Let's see what it says here. Well, this this guy, this first one liked them. Uh, they fixed his plasma TV. Yeah, they came out and fixed the plasma TV. That's nice. It was under warranty. Let's see another one. Uh, here's 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 another one. Uh, they have some special people working there. Tech is nowhere to be found when you call. That's a one star. What do you got here? Let's see. Uh, Ten minutes, he repeated his advice five times to someone that didn't even sound like a customer. I confronted him and he was rude. I walked out. Minutes later, after another waiting customer walked out, did the same. I thought customer service about prompt attention and courtesy. Terrible, unforgiving in a sales set. Ah, okay, let's see another one. Uh, stay away if you can. Okay, so this guy didn't like what they tried to do with his Pioneer Mixer. Uh, let's see here. Ah, he wrote a, like a book there. Uh, one star. Let's see what it says here. Let's see. Uh, 
They say they gave him a confirmation, schedule of time, and then they said they didn't have time and they hung up on him. Won't pick up or return his phone calls. Stay away from this business. Yeah, see? Yeah, Priscilla D did it. She looks pretty cool. So, uh, I, I trust her. Yeah, I think she's uh, on the ball there. Yeah, here's another one. Let's see. Uh, Normals is a new option to repair my Antkyo receiver. I was told it would take 10 days just to look at it, then they do the repairs. It's been well over a month. I still don't have my receiver back. After I called them, I was told they still don't even have the parts, and it'll be another week to get the parts in. Given this experience, I would never give them any of my money, whether it's making a purchase or paying for a repair. Look elsewhere. Well, there were no one else to do stuff sometimes. Another one star. Uh, let's look at the other guy. Look at the uh, Radigan Enterprises. That's what Sony says is authorized. You know, I think I could authorize myself, like working out of the garage. Okay, here's their website. Yeah, well, they got a picture of a circuit board. Oh, by the way, the other company does not do board repairs. The uh, Norman's Electronics, they said, do not do board repairs. They just replace the boards. They don't repair any circuit board. Can you believe this stuff? Now, they got a picture of a circuit board. Uh, so let's see what let's see what reviews say on this guy. And yeah, let's see. Uh, right again, Enterprises. It's, uh, oh, oh. Oh, one star. Let's see what someone says about this Sony authorized place. Avoid them like the plague. Let's see, that was uh, 2013. Totally, utterly useless. Kept my TV for five days. They returned it unrepaired. Then lied saying it worked fine in the shop. No FG way. Complete waste of my time and unethical too okay uh, this one says worst repair shop ever said it would take two weeks to get part find out after three weeks they never ordered the part then they say they wait two days before making a time to come out then they never came out to look at the TV see that this is what we got today to repair electronics Now, how they got to be a Sony authorized shop, I do not know. Anyway, there's no sense even looking any further. When you get two reviews and it says work repair, worst repair shop ever and avoid them like the plague, it means, means I better get my cat to work on the set. So I'm thinking of taking this apart. It's like 17, 18 screws go around here. Taking this thing apart, pulling the back off real careful, getting some help to do that. And I'm going to examine that board and see if I see any uh, capacitors that may have been uh, cooked or something. Because I think it's a good possibility that there's some cooked capacitor in there. And uh, like next to like a heat sink or voltage regulator in a heat sink or something that generates heat, I may see it. So I could start with that first. And uh, hey, you know, there's something on TV. Good. Hey, it's the it's the light and the uh, the arm the chair. Uh, that's pretty cool. I mean, I could watch TV like that. It gets a little boring. But anyway, I just want to say I gotta fix this set. So this set here, this one right here. It's kind of like uh, I got to get it working before I get the radio fixed. You know what I mean? Because the wife's kind of chomping at the bit too. She likes watching TV. And if you look down here, this is my uh, this is my backup set. <laughs> it's cute, ain't it? So uh, there's there's my backup to use. So uh, you may think that gets old watching that little set after a while and yes it does compared to to this thing and uh, got all the electronics there the modem and router and things like that but anyway I'm just saying uh, I'm going to divert take a different path here on the radio path 
which I didn't want to, but I'm going to have to. And uh, I'm going to um, get this TV hopefully fixed. <laughs> 